question okay so this question um, is from a lady she's 41 years old and she said that she has been dating a married man for a while and she says he comes over all the time they go out they do the you know they have a relationship and then like if his wife calls he doesn't answer the phone he turns off his phone and she said this has been going on for a while and he doesn't want to be like <clears throat> on any social media, he doesn't want to, um, you know, be known as a couple or whatever. And she's like, she looked him up, she Googled him, I guess, and she found out he was a pastor of a church who's married to, you know, his wife for a long time. He says he can't leave his wife. The church will look down on him or something like that. He's ashamed and he just wants to leave things as they are uh, he's like 66 years old uh, so she's like what do I do do I leave him do I stay what do I do what do I do what would you do <clears throat> and what do you think about all this what should what should she do okay so if it were me uh, okay first of all let me say that I know someone who the same thing happened to and the preacher ended up leaving his wife not divorcing but leaving <laughs> and living with the other lady um, and the whole church knows about it and the, the other lady left I mean the wife left so legally he's still married to his wife but he's on you know he's with this other lady even though they're not legally married now she's like the first lady of the church however you want to talk about it but <laughs> and she let's just say that <laughs> when when somebody wants something they usually get it okay when they want something bad enough if you want something more than the next person you're gonna get it okay because it's it's the sheer willingness to get what you want in this world that makes you get it okay <clears throat> so my thing is if you're asking me what you should do if you want that man take him okay i'm not i'm not gonna sit here and be all high mighty and moral it's about who wants him more now if you want to continue the relationship as being the mistress and you know he's paying bills too okay yeah i forgot to tell y'all that he's paying her bills okay if it were me I mean, you're already 41. It's not like you're in the childbearing age range. So you don't have to worry about that. His kids are grown. I don't know if you ever had kids, but it's too late now. Unless you've frozen your eggs or you have really young eggs. I don't know. I don't know that situation. But if you're not trying to have no kids or anything like that, keep taking it. And in the meantime, look for somebody else who can replace him. <laughs> Date. You know, when he's out with his wife, you don't have to be exclusive to him. <clears throat> you can get your bills paid and then still hang out with other guys. And if one of them ever wants to take you seriously, he needs to know that the torch has to be passed for paying your bills. You'd be like, you know what? I'm being taken care of. Okay. Use him as your sugar daddy. Okay. Say, look, I'm being taken care of. And like when it comes down to oh let's get married like if you're dating this other guy and he's like I want to move to the next step in our relationship it's like well I, I need to be taken care of and you can hold that over their head because you're already taken care of you can be like look I really like you blah 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 but I'm old fashioned I want my man to provide for me and take care of me can you do that and if he says no I can't do that I'm sorry but I love you like well that's nice we can still date but we're not going to move out of this level of our relationship I'm not moving in with you blah 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 until you can fully take care of me 
And so that'll be his choice to bounce or stay. Because you know that your preacher man is providing for you. <laughs> they said the Lord will provide. Okay? So <laughs> what I'm saying is don't throw him away. He's paying your bills. Okay? That's what you that's what most women are sitting here trying to get. Okay? Let let him pay your bills. You can date while he's at church, while he's with his wife, while he's with his congregation. You can be dating as well, okay? And, I mean, shoot, you're 41. Enjoy your life. You can get a younger man and say, hey, I got a, I got an old man who pays my bills. Y'all, I mean, you know it's an arrangement. I get to live rent-free, blah, 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 blah. We can hang out. We can do this, da, 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 Okay, if you're dating a younger guy. If you're going to go for somebody serious, like you want a serious relationship with, they're going to have to come correct in order to take you out of that situation and put you in a better one or at least something equal to it, okay? And let me tell you, um, <clears throat> that preacher man is not going to divorce his wife because his congregation will look down on him. His funds will stop coming in. He'll be asked to step down, so he can't do that. That's his income. That's his source, okay? He might be all high and mighty and holy, but we all know that churches are some of the most crooked places in the world. And the people there are no different from the people that are sitting in the pews. So, let's not judge people, because I don't judge people. I know people are going to do what they want to do anyway. So, he's probably not going to leave his wife. She's probably old. I mean, he's 66. He's probably about to die soon, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> look, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not laughing, but it's true, okay? Like, how much longer does he have left to live? Is his diet healthy? I mean, I don't know. So, and if y'all, you know, 66 is kind of young because, you know, modern medicine will keep you alive a lot longer. So, yeah, he might, he might live a while. But you, if you're going to be with him long term, you need to get some documents in place. You need to get some, you know, some money saved. You need to do this. You need to do that. And he needs to look out for you because, you know, his wife's going to get everything when he dies so he needs to start you a little savings plan or something to you know to stash away in case he falls off and you got some bills to pay okay and start thinking about that i don't know if you have a job or not if you do have a job that's good because you can save your own money and just let him pay all your bills okay um so if you want to get married you're 41 so you're gonna have to marry someone who's already had kids who's been probably in a relationship or divorced and just want a, a partner to spend out the rest of their days with. So you have time and you have the luxury to actually look for that in other men without having to worry about your bills, expenses, and blah, 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 blah. You can, you, you're you free to be very picky at this point, I would say. Now, I know this is not the advice people would say is good moral advice. <sighs> But you have to remember who made up those morals, okay? It is good advice that works. It is good advice that will lead you to um, your happiness in the end. And it's good advice where you don't have to work and slave hard because you have a man to pay your bills. And you have time to date other men who are not married. Because like I said, if you're dating a married man, that means he's in an open relationship, you're in an open relationship, and you are free to do what you want until his divorce papers are signed and he has a ring on your finger. Okay? He don't have to know about it. You can keep it a secret. Oh, I'm going to my sister's house. Oh, I'm going to my mom's house. Oh, I'm going to the hospital. <laughs> oh, I'm going here. I'm going there. He don't have to know where you are at all times. No. He is not God. <laughs> okay? So... Let's just say you have a golden opportunity if you take advantage of it in the correct way. If it were me, this is what I would be doing. I would be taking that money, dating, interviewing men for his position who can take over the bill pay. Because I have the luxury to be picky now. I have the luxury to date men who say uh, they're all that. And I have the luxury of finding that out. You know. <clears throat> Um, and a good way to transition is like, okay, the man that you're dating says, okay, I want to take this to the next level. You, let's move in together. And you tell him, oh, I need my bills paid. And he says, okay, I'll, I got it. Then you could politely dump your married man and say, look, I found somebody who's single and can take care of me. Bye. Peace. Thanks. 
thanks. Thank the Lord. Praise Jesus. And you can say bye. And voila. You got what you wanted. Now, if no one ever is able to take his place, you still got your bills paid. You can still date. You can still afford to be picky. But if he looks like he's getting close to death and about to, you know, go to the other side, you need to secure a way to have income if you don't have a job. And you need to uh, realize that, you know, you might have to compromise a little bit with the type of men that you're going to be with later on. I don't know, you know, what, what's your type, but you're going to have a higher expectations since you've already been taken care of. So that's a good thing. So anyway, thank you so much for that question. It was very interesting and very cool to get to cover because I have seen this happen. Um, it happens a lot, so it's not a big deal. Um, like I said, um, don't judge. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Bye.